Dr. Richard Land, a commissioner with the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, said today at a press conference held to announce the release of that commission's annual report that religious freedom conditions in Iran have worsened during the past year. In Iran, government rhetoric and actions worsened conditions for nearly all non-Shia religious groups, most notably for the Baha'is, as well as Sufi Muslims, Evangelical Christians, and members of the Jewish community. The, co the Commission has decided to designate Iran as a country of particular concern again because the, um, uh, the situation has worsened. After the conclusion of the press conference, Land told Washington TV that the issue of religious freedom in Iran has to be on the table during any talks between the United States and Iran, in the same way that human rights was on the table in U.S. negotiations with the former Soviet Union during the Cold War. Secretary of State George Shultz always talked about human rights and the right of the refusenics, and we've also made the same, um, the same uh, kind of stipulation with North Korea, that when it comes to talks with North Korea, uh, that human rights and religious freedom being one of those human rights needs to be part of the total package and that um, uh, the United States of America and its government should not separate human rights discussions and uh, religious freedom discussions from the other policy concerns. The U.S. State Department said on Thursday that Iran remained the most active state sponsor of terrorism in the world. In its report for 2008, the U.S. said Iran's involvement in the planning and financial support of terrorist attacks throughout the Middle East, Europe and Central Asia had a direct impact on international efforts to promote peace, threaten economic stability in the Gulf and undermine the growth of democracy. Cuba, Sudan and Syria were also designated as state sponsors of terrorism. In response, Iran's foreign minister, Manuchel Motaki, who was in Havana, Cuba, to attend a meeting of the non-aligned movement, said that the United States was not in a position to pass judgment on other countries. With its support for the Zionist regime, racism, occupation, and everything that has taken place at Guantanamo prison, America is not competent to accuse other countries, Motaki said, according to the official Erna news agency. America's policy of double standards is known throughout the world, and it, meaning the US, has nothing new to say, he added. Defense Secretary Robert Gates on Thursday urged lawmakers to quickly approve $83.4 billion for the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and for assistance to Pakistan. The funding request, which covers the remainder of fiscal year 2009 on 30th of September, includes $75.8 billion for combat operations in Iraq and Afghanistan and $7.1 billion for State Department projects. President Barack Obama has made tackling extremism in Afghanistan and Pakistan the central focus of his strategy to bring stability to the region.